Hey, so I'm um, doing some benchmarks here between 2.93 and uh, Blender 3.0 just to compare the, the speed, massive speed increases. Spoiler alert, uh, everything is a lot faster in uh, all the tests. I think apart from one, as I recall, I think one of them was about the same speed, um, which I think was due to hair. Um, all the benchmarks are available on the Blender site and there's a there'll be a link below as well. So we've got the barbershop here at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Next we'll do the same uh, amount of samples on 3.0. Uh, everything's sped up so that we don't have to wait around. So we've got uh, 1 minute and 7 seconds with the exact same settings. Then uh, if we make some optimization by halving the sample count down to 400, putting the denoiser de on, um, go over to slot two as well to make sure we can compare the images. Um, light bounces, fast GI approximation, this makes a bit of a difference in speed. I have at least two there so the light could bounce a couple of times in the scene. Simplify and persistent data is also enabled. Um, but the persistent data needs to render again a second time. So 35 seconds here, and then with persistent data, it's 28 seconds. Here's the differences. The original render has very light uh, cupboards on the left, and if, there's a few other noticeable discrepancies, but I actually prefer the 3.0 render. I think it looks better, even with the optimized settings, especially with the optimized settings. All right, Barcelona Pavilion next. Remember this used to take 22 minutes on a GTX 970, 1000 samples. Let's see how fast 2.93 can do this now. So, 33 seconds, pretty quick. Let's have a look and see what 3.0 does. 19 seconds, quite a bit quicker. And we can get that even lower by dropping the samples down to 300 and turning the denoise on, which gives, in some cases, an almost, uh, you, you, can, you can almost not tell the difference when you, when you do this. Another method that you can use is to double the resolution and reduce the samples. That can also produce images much quicker. Um, at the same quality. Six seconds. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. And next up is the BMW benchmark. This would take eight minutes, 40 seconds on my old 970 in Blender 2.8 and 2.93. It's done in eight seconds. Not bad. And in Blender 3.0, that drops even further down to just over two seconds. And when you have persistent data enabled in render again, it's down to just, just over one second. Phenomenally quick. <laughs> All right, next up is the classroom scene. This one in 2.93 is rendering at 300 samples. Uh, used to take uh, my 2070, RTX 2070, two minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, 2.93 does this in 26 seconds. 3.0, 3 can knock it back down to 15 seconds. And then with a little bit of optimization, denoising persistent data that drops even further down to nine seconds uh, with 200 samples in Blender 3.0. Okay, next one's Cosmos Laundromat. Um, this one is the one of the only ones that uh, render a bit slower in Blender 3.0, and I'm pretty sure that's because of the, the hair system. Um, it, 
3.0 just seems to be a bit slower when using hair. Uh, maybe that'll be optimized at some point in the future, but uh, so 2.93 renders it in one minute and 25 seconds. Um, 3.0 doing the exact same uh, uh, sample settings render. We'll do it in one minute and 31 seconds. And if you optimize it by uh, reducing the sample size and turning on denoising, persistent data and so on, you can get it down to 58 or 59 seconds. Um, it's quite a large image as well. It's 2K in width. So um, yeah, I mean, you could reduce the size quite a bit while you're building and then use this as final render settings. So um, it's still pretty fast, it's still pretty quick. Fishy cat, 2.93, thousand samples. Uh, this is a, this one renders pretty quickly in about 15 seconds, as I recall on uh, 2.93. Yeah, oh, 19 seconds. Um, this one was one of the scenes that was broken in the earlier builds of Cycles X for 3.0, but it's, uh, everything's working, so great. 3.0 does it in 12, uh, 12 seconds and when you've optimized it you can get that down to five seconds okay lone monk 2.93 4096 samples um, uh, 2.93 renders in over two minutes and i'm going to show some optimizations uh, in, in a sec that will get that down to 14 seconds so I've sped it up by 10 times because it's quite a long render and you don't need to sit and watch through that. So 2.93, two minutes and 51 seconds. Um, three, Blender 3.0, same settings. Let's see what it does. So one minute something, one minute 30 seconds. So yeah, um, to get it down to 14 seconds, just change your settings here as, as, as I'm doing here. The only thing of interest is the fast GI uh, approximation. Uh, I've got two bounces set, but you can increase that to have longer render times, um, but also get more accurate renders, uh, depending on what, what kind of look you wanna go for. But um, that does make a massive difference. So you can see the more saturated version is the 2.93 uh, version or the one without the bounce lights uh, adjusted. So yeah. Monster under a bed, 1,024 samples, Blender 2.93. Um, yeah, um, it's not much to add to, to, to this one other than just a you can just see how useful it is uh, to get the rendering speed down while you're previewing things. Um, 2.93 does, uh, does this render in a minute and 30 seconds, but you don't need to have all those samples. Um, you could very easily um, get an idea of what the scene looks like while you're building it with uh, 50 samples and denoising and have it in near, near um, real time in the viewport. Uh, 3.0 does it in in 20 seconds um, and then when you add denoising drop samples down to 200 samples fast GI persistent data uh, you know you get it down to four seconds which is yeah amazing pretty cool the sheet next with 2.93 to 256 samples uh, this was broken in earlier builds. Um, I think it was the the volumetrics that was uh, not quite finished yet, but it's. I mean, everything I've tested in th this 3.0 alpha is working now, and this 2.93 does it in 10 seconds. Uh, 3.0 does it in eight seconds at the same settings. Um, and yeah, uh, if you sim add simplify, uh, to check persistent data and render again, you can get it optimized down to two seconds. Let's 
Sinosauropteryx next, 2.93, 200 samples, and 4K this time. One of the biggest renders of the um, benchmarks. Uh, this one's sped up at 10 to 15 times because it's uh, quite a slow render at over three minutes. Um, yeah, 2.93 does, does this in three minutes and eight seconds. Um, 3.0, exactly the same settings. Uh, yeah, I'm sp speeding up the uh, playback on these by 12 to 15 times because this is a bit of a slower one. But Cycles X does it in two, two minutes and 14 seconds. Then if you add simplify, persistent data, fast GI approximation, you can reduce that down to two minutes and five seconds. Okay, the last one is the still life benchmark example scene. Yeah, I mean, just to go over uh, some of the tips, uh, you can double the resolution of the renders that you're doing and and halve or, or less the, the number of samples. Quite often that will uh, reduce the speed that you're rendering uh, if you combine it with denoising. Um, and yeah, it's definitely worthwhile trying trying that uh, for some of some scenes. I found it works sometimes. Uh, simplify in the render settings can lock the maximum subdivisions, the number of particles, persistent data, um, stop, stops you having to recalculate all the data at the beginning of the render. That can save you anything up to 10, 15 seconds. And fast GI approximation. If you customize that, you can save a lot of time. All right, last of all, I thought I'd show what the, how the improvements um, for the viewport denoising has, has progressed. Um, I'm not gonna show the 2.93 version because you, you, there, there is a difference. Uh, 3.0 is, is better, it's faster when it comes to viewport denoising, um, but it's not, you can't, it's not that noticeable in, uh, in video, in my opinion. So um, yeah, this is with denoising turned off. Let's turn it on. Uh, samples 100, so start denoising at one sample. Um, so if you set that to start at 10, you'll notice there's still a bit of noise when you're moving around. And then when you stop, as soon as it gets to 10 samples, it starts to uh, denoise again. Um, or you can just denoise on every frame, which is kind of amazing really, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's incredible really, considering for me especially, I, I was on a, nine, a GTX 970 about two years ago, and this would take 10 minutes something to render, 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes probably, to, and now it's, I mean, you can get a good idea of what the thing's going to look like in a couple of seconds. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, hope that was useful. Uh, links to the benchmarks in the description below. Um, yeah. I'll also, there's also a link, I'll put a link to the ben Blender Benchmark GPUs, uh, official rend render benchmark. Uh, if you go and have a look at that, you can see all the different times for various different GPUs. Um, and you can compare to see what what, um, what, what, what you like, basically. Um, so yeah, have a look in the description. Cheers.